I was literally just about to go to bed. I just realized that I didn't print and sign my syllabuses. I don't even know how to do that. I am so overwhelmed right now. It's not even funny. I don't know why I'm overwhelmed, but like I feel so overwhelmed. I don't know how to do this. I need to go. I'm getting stressed out. I'll see you on the flip side. Good morning. Welcome to senior year, baby. It's another day, eyes on my display. You say we need a change, and I feel that you mean it. You mean it. But you're so right, we're losing track of time. Buying things online, and it's not like you need them. You don't need them. So can we just slow morning guys what is up i can finally talk because i'm out of the house nobody in my house is up that early because i'm the person that starts school the earliest out of the two people that actually go to school in my family so yeah okay so i'm just gonna back out of my garage real quick and then i have to complete this attestation form for my school it's pretty much about corona just seeing if you have any of the symptoms so I'm gonna do that really quick because we're supposed to do it before we actually like get to school. Why is my camera slanted? Like stop doing that. Pretty much every student in the building has to complete this daily that pretty much every student that wants to enter the building each day has to complete that attestation form because obviously they're trying not to spread corona so yeah you see i'm having a little bit of an issue where i'm not hungry for breakfast at all but i know it's really really bad to not be eating breakfast so i'm going to force myself to eat this chocolate um this chocolate almond sea salt bar does not sound appealing to me nothing sound appealing to me <laughs> Mm -mm. Nope. <sighs> okay, DIY hour. Hour. Today I'm going to be having my official last first day of school. I am a incoming senior to high school and this is it. This definitely was not the last first day that I was envisioning freshman year. At least I'm still going to school and I'm very grateful for that because I know a lot of schools in my area aren't actually going back. They're just going back all online, which really sucks because I personally think it's so much harder to learn online than in person because you just don't have that like interactive feel of like being in the classroom with the teacher like when you place me on my bed on a zoom call and i'm staring at a teacher in a box this big my brain's elsewhere so i'm currently on my way to my friend's my 
gosh. I'm currently on my way to my friend Chloe's house because she drives me to school. We won't talk about last night. I forgot to fill out my psych permission form slash like read through my whole syllabus. So I got a nice lovely text from my friend Connie at 11 o'clock at night, I think when I was about to pretty much go to bed. And she was like, how did you turn it in? Like we're supposed to turn it in through like turnitin.com. I don't know how to do it. And like, I'm really confused and like, I'm stressed out and I'm like, hold on. We had to hand something in. I like didn't even know. I like forgot. He definitely told us, but I just forgot because that's just the stellar student that I am. Just kidding. Normally I'm on top of that stuff, but like, I don't know. I kind of spaced on this one. So yeah, I was freaking out over that, trying to find the form, trying to navigate the website, trying to figure out how to download it. Like I used to work on a Chromebook, not an iPad up until this year. So like I was a little bit, a little bit confused. Oh yeah. For those of you that didn't know already, I had to transfer senior year because the high school that I went to freshman through junior year closed. I had a little bit of financial instability. Um, but that was fun. That was really, really fun. I got upset over that, even though it was not that big of a deal. I successfully turned everything in by 11.30 that night. So I guess it was still technically turned in on time. And then I went on my phone for a little bit, which was not a good decision because then I got sucked into 20 minutes of TikTok and ended the night with impulsively buying a 12 pack of pens that I saw on TikTok. That was a very interesting series of events. I am officially at my friend Chloe's house. We have to be there by 7.25-ish, so we're gonna leave her house around like 7.05. Ugh, this does not taste good to me. Okay, peace out, bye. All right, hi guys, this is Chloe. She is my personal chauffeur, and we're on our way to school right now. Are we excited? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Only coffee is crack coffee. Heavenly coffee must have more caffeine than anything because I take two sips of that and I'm like, yes! <laughs> right to the pot. I didn't go to the gym. I sat there and sipped that. I was the greatest cup of coffee of my life. Okay? Look at how many coffee shops exist. So I am back in the car. Um, it's 2.48 right now. School ended around 2.10. The day actually went really, really well. I didn't get lost. I actually felt pretty good with my sense of direction in the school, surprisingly. The classes were very enjoyable. I really like all my teachers. The beginning of the day was really, really good. But towards the end of the day, my classes started to drag a little bit because they are an hour long and I was getting tired. And you know, just normal stuff that happens throughout the school day. So today was pretty good. Um, minus my friend Chloe's car getting hit. Yeah, so after school, we were just walking out to her car so we could, you know, get in the car and leave. The parking lot is extremely packed though because between parents and like students trying to leave, there's like 600 students in the school at a time and that's only half. So the parking lot is very, very packed. We were walking out to get into her car and this teenage boy in this black Mercedes literally pulled forward and just smashed the back of her bumper. For a second, I didn't even process that it really happened. I just kind of like witnessed it and was like, oh damn. And then I processed it and I was like, oh damn, okay. Uh, we need to fix this. That's not good. The first thing that went through my mind was, oh my God, I feel so bad for my friend Chloe because I knew she was gonna freak out about this because it's technically her parents' car, even though it's like her car, but her parents paid for it and they allow her to use it for school. And then second of all, we thought it was gonna be a hit and run because he started to pull away because I don't think he realized at first that Chloe and I standing there that she was like the car owner. He started to like drive away and we had to like call him back over. And then we just got all like the logistics stuff, like insurance information, license plates, and he was like super chill about it. So, I mean, I guess that was good, but it was just a sucky experience. And I still feel really bad for my friend Chloe because it was just a long day and nobody really wants to see their car get smashed up after a long day at school. Hi, this lighting is not good. All right, hey guys, what is up? We are back home. I don't know why my face is like kind of itchy. Like here, I don't know if it's like some reaction to my mask, probably not, probably just being dramatic per usual. I really enjoyed all of my classes today, genuinely. My photography and composition class, I was a little bit confusing because I thought it was gonna be based around like 
you know, photography and composition, but like we're doing some drawings and I didn't know I signed up for that. So like, this is what we have. What is that? I haven't drawn anything since like sixth grade, like legitimately. So when he sat me down and was like, you need to draw this or like work on this project. It's called like the seed project, which is when you have a little like doodle and you like expand off of that and create a whole picture. It like, what is this? Um, I'm not proud of that. And I'm starting to realize that like everyone in my class can like draw well. And I'm like, what happened? I didn't sign up for this. I don't know what we were drawing. So I just pretty much made a fool out of myself today. Cause he was walking around and like looking at everybody's like drawings and everyone's looked so good and they were being so creative and it was like beautiful. And I'm like, octopus. Why? The school day as a whole though is pretty, pretty decent actually. Minus it being like 20 degrees in there. I was literally shivering all day. Oh my gosh, it gives me like flashbacks to when my old school's heating system broke and I was like shivering for like two months straight. Thankfully, I had a very easy like set of classes today. We do this thing where it's like a seven day rotating schedule and each day you drop two classes. So you only really have five classes every day. So the rest of my day is pretty much going to look like doing my homework until around 4.20, eating really quickly and then leaving by 4.40 with Ashlyn to go to the gym. Gym is from 5.30 to 9.00. Then I'm gonna come home, do a little bit of studying because I do have an AP bio test later this week and then probably just going to bed and then starting my day all over again. So yeah, that's pretty boring and you guys probably don't wanna see that. That's it. If you wanna see a day in the life, comment down below. I'd be happy to do one of those. I love vlogging my day for some reason and I like to pretend that people care about my life even though most people probably don't. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't believe that I am officially a senior. I feel like it was just yesterday that I was a freshman coming into school. Comment down below some other video ideas or video suggestions that you guys would like to see in the future. I had a lot of fun filming this video. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know what to do. I don't have to say much more. Just a heads up, I don't know how consistently I'm going to be posting in the future because my schedule is very, very packed right now because I do have college applications. I have to have those pretty much done and sent out by the first week of October. Now I have school to balance and I have gymnastics. So hopefully I can squeeze YouTube in there into the mix. If I can't, I'm sorry. I might be skipping a week or two for posting. I just want to let you guys know and give you a heads up for that if that happens in the future, but I'm going to try my best and I hope you you guys can understand if I have to take a little bit of a break because of school, but I'm wishing you all the best of luck in school and just in life in general. I hope everything's going smoothly for you guys and I hope you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop sounding like a principal and I'm gonna just say goodbye already, okay? Bye guys.